This is my Leica M3 and I'm loaning that to this guy. You might know him and you might be already a subscriber of him. So check out his channel in a few months when he will try this little baby. Hi and thank you for clicking on this video. My name is Phil aka Phil and today I just wanted to uh, talk a bit about these four cameras. Um, you could say that in my opinion these cameras are kind of my uh, dream camera combo and um, yeah most of you who already uh, watched several of my uh, videos already know one or two of them and why I use it. Yeah I thought I will just uh, share you some of my updated thoughts of these cameras and how I use them. Right from the bat I'm, I, I have to admit uh, if I haven't had this channel I wouldn't have that many cameras but um, yeah unfortunately I'm a kind of a gearhead I'm still working on my uh, photography. Gear is also something I have a lot of fun of. And uh, yeah, that's why I acquire quite a lot of uh, cameras and having fun with that. But let's start with the Nikon ZF. I got this um, camera uh, since launch. I think uh, it's now about one year now. Um, since the camera has been released. I got this basically because of the looks. Uh, I was fascinated by the retro design of the Nikon ZF back then uh, or before the Nikon ZF was released. Um, there were only the Fujifilm cameras, the XT line, which has retro design uh, dials on their cameras. Nikon has um, released the Nikon ZFC, which has basically also a retro uh, design uh, philosophy but uh, the sensor was um, APC size and this retro uh, design camera from Nikon, the Nikon ZF, is the first retro camera which uh, features a full frame sensor and uh, that's yeah, uh, mostly the re main reason why I got this. And I have to say um, this camera um, helped me to uh, build this uh, channel and uh, I have a lot of fun shooting with this camera. And uh, since I'm closing in owning this camera for uh, about a year, I will save uh, my detailed thoughts for that video, which will come up in the next few weeks. But right now I use the Nikon ZF, except for this one, um, mainly to shoot my um, YouTube videos with the 28mm. I also have the 40mm uh, uh, lens. For now it does its job quite well. Next is um, the Leica Q343, which um, I have to say I pumped out a lot of uh, videos since I got it, simply because I love this camera um, since I have it. Um, I mentioned that several times. It's uh, the Q I uh, always wanted because the original uh, Qs with the 28 millimeter uh, focal length, um, that was for my personal taste too wide. And that's the reason why I wished for a more uh, tighter lens, which I now finally got with the 43 version. Besides uh, some cons, like um, not as fast autofocus, for example, I really love this um, camera, uh, basically for the format. I just love and adore um, small compact cameras and uh, the like a Q uh, lineup always intrigued me because of the size with the uh, full frame sensor in it. And now I have the uh, more tighter lens with the 43 uh, version. And this lens just renders the images of my children, portraits um, very beautifully. So I know that um, this camera purchase might uh, flame up some dis discussions because um, you have the Leica brand, you have the Leica price tag, and this is a fixed lens. For me personally, it was worth it jumping on this ship and I have a lot of fun using this camera. I have also shot a few uh, street sessions with this camera. Uh, one or two of them I uh, have recorded. I think one is already uh, uploaded. I have one more um, in the pipeline. So uh, stay tuned for that. I have to say that um, yeah, having the 43 millimeter uh, focal length and the 60 millimeter uh, sensor for cropping in uh, makes things quite uh, relatively easy uh, shooting as an introvert on the streets since I'm quite shy to get into people's uh, faces to take the shot. In the last few weeks I already uh, yeah, got 
shout at uh, taking their pictures. Luckily I was able to continue just to walk and nothing happened. But yes, that's the reason why I'm afraid of taking pictures of strangers when they notice me and uh, having a tighter lens and the ability to crop in just helps uh, that uh, regarding my introverted nature. But I also know that uh, shooting wider and getting the, into the action just gives you different uh, results in, uh, in the image and I'm currently um, trying to practice this also. The next two uh, cameras um, are relatively new also in my possession, you can say. I will start with the Leica MP. Funny enough, this uh, Leica MP, um, I was... I had ordered that um, before and uh, it arrived basically in the same week like the Q343 and since I was uh, too busy to shoot this camera and uh, making videos, um, yeah, I hadn't have enough time to take my, my time to shoot this Leica MP. Since I'm on the um, Leica M train for a while now and also diving into the um, Leica M film bodies. It always intrigued me to own a Leica MP despite the high price tag. I attempted, I think, this is the third Leica MP uh, body which I, uh, I ordered because the first one was a Leica MP in silver uh, second hand uh, which was, uh, it was in great condition and the price was also great but somehow I, um, yeah, I just wanted to have an black paint uh, version simply because my Leica M3 is already silver and um, then I returned that looked up on the internet again for Leica MP uh, black paint um, these are unfortunately uh, much more expensive compared to the silver chrome version and then the last I found one which was also quite uh, okay from the, for the price um, it got delivered and everything was looking great body didn't have uh, much scratches and so on and uh, unfortunately the um, view uh, the rangefinder was not aligned so uh, when you uh, looked through the view viewfinder and tried to focus the focusing patch didn't match and um, then i decided to return that and uh, now i have this one that was my uh, third attempt to getting a Leica MP and here special thanks to Joe Gaia from Austria Vienna I will link up his uh, website below and uh, his YouTube channel also up here he had this year his 10th year anniversary at his store and uh, during that weekend there was a special discount uh, on his shop and also on the online store and I was able to pick this specific Leica MP for a very good price. I can't believe I'm, uh, I'm, I paid under the uh, value of the uh, used market. And that's the reason why I also put the trick on this one. Because if, if I get into financial emergencies or so to say, uh, and, have to pay, um, and have to sell my cameras, um, I know that this one would give uh, me some kind of revenue. Although right now I'm financial stable and I hope that this is the camera will be the one I will own until until I die but let's see yeah shooting film on a Leica M body is just um, something I really enjoy and um, do it quite regularly uh, since I'm uh, also developing film um, and scanning film at home and that drives the um, developing cost um, down a bit and since I'm also shooting mostly the cheapest uh, film I have available here and uh, that's mostly Kentmere Pen 400 and Kodak Gold. That gives me the uh, possibility to shoot film more often compared to last year where I developed uh, most of my uh, film at, a, um, at the lab. Now I'm, I'm more comfortable to shoot film uh, more often, um, even for mundane stuff. Um, for this one, I also have a POV uh, video up in the pipeline. Much more will come simply because um, I really enjoy go out and shoot with um, these cameras and um, why not take you with me on a POV session because uh, in the end it's all about going out and shoot, right? So last but not least, we have this beauty, the Nikon FM2. I have 
purchased this out of impulse, I have to admit, because I w didn't plan to um, own another additional film camera. Uh, my plan was originally just to have the Leica MP and uh, use it as much as possible um, by, using uh, by shooting film. I saw this camera on a marketplace here in Germany and the price was uh, quite uh, nice to be, uh, to be honest. This camera just looks quite in great condition. I have the original uh, packaging and it came with the 50mm 1.8 lens and the light seals has been also uh, renewed. So the optical condition and the technical condition um, is just amazing. And I paid for this one, I think between 200 and 250 bucks, something like that. I don't um, know the conversion into dollars right now, but around that. And for that price, I said, okay, that's just amazing for Nikon FM2. Um, what's special about this one is the ability to shoot um, a shutter speed uh, 1 over 4,000 of a second. Um, I think that's the fastest film uh, camera I have seen so far, which I owned. And I put through this camera, I think about two rolls now. And I have to admit, um, it's quite a nice experience to shoot an SLR for a change, um, coming from an uh, Leica M film body. And um, I will do also a dedicated video for on this camera because uh, I really enjoy the shooting experience on this camera. And um, now I also understand why I gravitated to the Nikon ZF when it launched, because um, these film cameras from the era of the FE and FM uh, bodies, uh, of course, inspired the engineers to design the Nikon ZF. And um, it's just a pleasure to, to, to shoot. I know that my photography is quite basic, um, but I just uh, enjoy the process of taking pictures. Sometimes I, I enjoy mu much more the process of taking a picture, especially on film, than the end results. But if the end results also have some uh, nice uh, results, um, yeah, I'm also happy. So I'm not sure if my rant uh, makes sense somehow, but um, yeah, um, these are the, currently the four cameras I shoot the most with. Yeah, to be honest, the Nikon ZF I don't use as much for photos. It's just for video work right now. And um, the two film bodies, I occasionally just go out and shoot uh, uh, streets. And currently the most used one is of course the Leica Q343. You can see that on my channel that I'm currently put, uh, putting out a lot of videos about this camera. And that's just simply the fact that I really enjoy this camera uh, right now. That's the reason why I'm putting out the videos about that. The other cameras will also have their presence now uh, more on my, my channel because these four cameras are the cameras I currently use the most. And um, that's why I titled this uh, video kind of, uh, yeah, that these cameras are my dream camera combo. Looking at the Q3 version, which I already wanted, having the Leica MP as a black paint version, which over time, if it has some scratches and starts to brass, will look quite unique, especially on this one. I'm hoping this is the camera I will own forever. Regarding the Nikon FM2, already said, um, it was an uh, impulse buy, but after two rolls, I have to say, I understand why people love the Nikon F line of the film cameras. And uh, as I said, a dedicated camera will come. And the Nikon ZF, uh, most of my uh, viewers own this camera. And if you own it, you know the pros of this camera. It's a great camera. It's a awesome powerhouse. Um, it can do video and photo amazingly, um, despite a few uh, quirks like the ergonomics, but nevertheless the pros overweigh the cons. If I go out and shoot, um, yeah, I have basically just two straps which I normally use. One is this uh, small um, hand strap, uh, which has a peak design clip. And the other one is um, just a normal camera strap, which also has the peak design clip. 
and um, both of them are made out of real leather. That's basically my setup when I go out and shoot. And um, these camera straps are made locally from Dennis from Seamstrap. If you are interested, I will link up his uh, shop and his Instagram down below. Um, I'm just a fan to support uh, my locals. And so this one, uh, Dennis gifted me when he purchased one of my Leica cameras and the uh, longer camera strap here I purchased with my own money because I was uh, quite uh, surprised about the very great quality he provides and that's why I'm doing my best to support my locals here. So I'm not sure if this video made any sense but um, yeah I just wanted to talk a little bit about my current cameras uh, which I enjoy the most. And as a, a small teaser, um, these cameras will be featured in, in upcoming POV videos since I want to shift my, my videos a little bit more regarding uh, taking photos. But um, since I'm a gearhead, um, I also just love talking about my cameras. And yes, now I'm trying to find a balance between these two topics. But yes, comment below which camera would you prefer shooting out of these four or do you have a different preference? If you're still here watching, thank you very much for your time. You are the one who deserves the like for that. And um, if you want to support my small little channel, you can check my affiliate links below, down in the description, or buy me a coffee, also down in the description. And if you want to see more videos on my channel, just click on one of these and have a nice day.